Shorty, tell me if I'm wrong. I can see. Welcome back. So, last video, you know Janessa's in Pennsylvania right now. She won't be back until I think Sunday. But today, me and mi madre are going to a prison that has a cave in it. And it's an hour away, so I have to drive an hour to go there. And we're going to check it out, and I'll potentially record for that. So if you've seen this video, I recorded for it, obviously. <laughs> so first, we're going to go to Dunkin' for my mom, and we're going to go to McDonald's, because I want a hash brown, because it is no me. So I'll potentially see you when I'm eating, or at the prison. Peace out. We made it to the prison, and there's, where is it? There's like, where you put that, like right there. Stockade. Stockade. Let's, we need to push someone in there so we can throw things at them. It's lovely. It's the sight significance and the human. This man ugly. This man ugly. Look ugly. It's nice. That's nice. Oh, this place is so pretty. I'm blocking you with my head. Because he said you don't want to be on the channel. I don't want to be on the channel. So, I'm uh, when we get in the prison, I'll, I'll be back. I'm uh... This is sick. Do you guys see this? This is awesome. I'm a, I want to sit in the bench. Be careful where you walk, ma. <gasps> There's a well! Can you guys see that? Look how cool that is. You think I can get in the hole? I'm going to get in the hole. I'm in the hole. That was awesome. I feel so adventurous. Oh, there was one that was shorter. Look at this. There's a well. And it's got rope. There's no bucket. It's a bucket. So she said to keep going. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. So this is, what, the prison yard? Oh, I see the entrance to the mine. Right here, that's the entrance to the mine. And it's the forecast for the mine is 52. So pretty good. This place is gorgeous, let me tell you. Um, but, holy, what's in there? Do you got, there's like little houses in there. And there's a cool gate right there. Holy mother of mackerel. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to flip the camera. Look at how cool that is. Let's walk over here. Marco! Build a stone wall. I don't want to build a wall. This place is sick. Our tour is in a couple minutes, so I'm gonna ask if I can record that. My our, our tour is coming up. This place is sick. Look how cool this is. Hey, this is our ticket. Oh, mine tour. Are we supposed to be over here? The mine tour. So we're supposed to be here, right? This is awesome, bro. I'm trying so hard to keep you out of the video. <laughs> I flipped the camera. Look at how cool this is. There's chairs. Holy wow. This place is pretty. You think they'd be playing golf on this? This is great. This is great. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit when the tour starts. Because this is so cool. I wish Vanessa was here to see it. But like mine turned prison to our mine turned tourist attraction um, and that's what we are currently now but mining goes back to about 1707 um, but before this became East Granby this was the town of Simsbury it doesn't become East Granby for quite some time um, but for here they were seeking out for copper 
Now, it goes on to about, about the mid-18th century, but during those decades, the mining that took place here, well, it went through a lot of different business owners, partners, um, employers, overseers, but a noteworthy one was Jonathan Belcher. So he got involved around 1714 and was involved for several decades, but he never actually stepped foot here. He did all of his business from afar. He wasn't known for being a nice man, but he was fairly significant because he goes on to be the governor of the province of New Hampshire in Massachusetts, and then the governor of the province of New Jersey. In his writings, he was very vocal and open about his grievances and frustrations with his mining business. He wasn't making a lot of money, and he thought his employees were stealing from him. And really, none of the businesses or owners here actually got a lot of money. It just they weren't producing enough. And part of the share actually went directly to the British Crown, being the colonies, not our independent nation, still within British ruling. And some of the ore and stones that came from here were sent on ships across the Atlantic Ocean over to England, where it would be refined over there as well. And ships are known for sinking. So all in all, the mining business does die off. And this site goes unused for a bit of time until 1773, when the colony of Connecticut decides, we have a hole in the ground, let's stick people in it. <laughs> so, General Assembly, at the end of that year, decides they're gonna turn the Simsbury Mines into a public jail, originally intended for counterfeiters, burglars, and horse thieves. So horse theft is kind of equivalent to car theft today, and they see their first prisoner at the end of that year. The prison was in operation from 1773 to 1827, but during that time it actually opened and closed a handful. So during the early years, during the American Revolution, the prisoners that were here were confined almost entirely to the mines. And while you're down here, no light is permitted, cold, wet. This entrance did not exist till 1972. The original entrance was the mine shaft over there. Um, so that goes up underneath the guardhouse. So to get in and out, you have to go up and down a ladder. And you can check that out um, if you haven't already done so, um, after you can explore the rest of the prison car. So, when the prisoners are here, are we going to the Bane left? Of right? copper. We are going to the left, uh, because we'll actually come up this way, okay. and there is a railing right here preventing us going to the right. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Slip and slide. You got a butt scoop down. What? You got a butt scoop down. <laughs> I can picture all the prisoners butt scooping. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at all this. What? I said, look at all this. It's awesome. You see all the, the stuffs? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna just kinda come right here for a sec. We'll be heading down there in a moment. No, I was trying not to, you can see where some of it's wet, so I was trying to not Oh yeah, this is fairly too, okay. Too wet. All right, so. Oh cool, there's a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, this is the well. Uh, it goes right up into the prison yard. Um, I was talking about this. <laughs> so wells obviously are used for retrieving water. This went down another few dozen feet, so you could get water. It's been filled in for safety reasons. Mm -hmm. The well was constructed in 1776. And if you take a look here, you can see a lot of those semicircle markings indicating drill marks. Um, and thus determining that this was made using hand tools. Um, and this provided the only source of natural light for the prisoners down here. Gotta get their vitamin D. <laughs> so the, this well was used in a prison escape attempt. Um, but before I talk about that one, there's a bunch more that took place before it. First prisoner that was here, John Hinson, he escaped after 18 days. Nice. Um, As he should. <laughs> yes. Between 1773 and 1777, there were 20 prisoners here. Goodbye. Hello. There were 28 prisoners here. 25 of them escaped in a four-year span. Good for Yes. So these escapes were feasible for a number of reasons. Um, the colony of Connecticut felt putting the people in the ground 
was a no. No. Some of them had help on the surface, like John Henson. Mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't really any physical barriers to keep them confined, such as walls or fences. Uh, the walls that you see now are from 1802. And really wasn't much of a security team supervising the site. Uh, John Beats, who was the first warden of the prison, lived right across the street. That giant White House, um, still there. Anytime a prisoner escaped, he put a notice out in the newspaper, giving a description and offering a $10 reward. He put a lot of notices out. <laughs> 10 ducats. Uh, $10 was a good chunk of change then. So, but as time goes on, they began implementing this, and it does become much more difficult to escape from here. Mm -hmm. uh, so the prison didn't just hold those who committed crimes, but... Tories or Loyalists, so those who supported the British Crown during the American Revolution, yeah. Colony of Connecticut deemed yeah. it illegal, considering it treason. Uh, so you could be fined, have your property taken, or sent to jail, and a handful were sent here. Um, so the conditions and the treatment of the prisoners here is horrific, mm -hmm. but there are other forms of punishment that they may have faced, including solitary confinement. Um, and we're gonna head in there now, so we're gonna go off to the left, but as we enter... It's the exit sign. <laughs> They're like, go this way. <laughs> it's scuffy. It's cold. You gotta duck. Duck. Look at all the rocks. Oh, this, oh, it's the echo. Look at all the white rocks. So the solitary confinement, um, being in here uh, was your length of when you were being in here, kind of just determined by what you did and who you anchored. Um, but there is an early record that suggested they keep prisoners here for a season, meaning a month at a time, or months at a time. Um, but while you're in here, obviously you're completely isolated, cold, wet, dark, no light, you are shackled. So you can see the bolt with the ring behind you there. Oh. So you're limited in your mobility and how far you can move about. End of the tunnel, door locking you, keeping you in. And this room is prone to flooding. You'd be ankle deep in water. Oh, awesome. This is a nice bed right here. Yeah, I would not sit there because uh, that's what the bats like to hang out. Oh, they don't lovely. clean up after themselves. Gross. Uh -huh. But also, Guards would have to bring your food and any supplies while in here. But it was kind of conditions and treatments of the prisoners such as this is what ultimately shut this prison down in 1827. Um, it really did fuel and contribute to the early 19th century. Having flashbacks to us hiking. better control. Yeah. Having flashbacks to us hiking down those hills. Mm. The butt scoots. Oh my Jesus. very very i i feel for the prisoners <laughs> they didn't have the railing i know that's why i feel <laughs> it's very rooks i like the rooks all right so if you take a look down this tunnel following that pipe you'll notice the water table so at 75 feet you hit water, uh, which prevented the miners from going any deeper because they didn't have the means or technology to do so several hundred years ago. And if you just tried emptying it out, it just fills right back up. Awesome. Infinite water source. Basically. Um, so as we go forward, uh, we're going through a four foot tall tunnel. So duck. <laughs> I want to get the water. Oh, that's cool. Oh my, I'm sorry, it's dark. Hello. Oh, cool, there's stairs, Ma. Easily impressed. It's like a spiral staircase. Oh, this is yeah, that's an emergency exit. Love that. <laughs> Probably new. Grr. Grr. Oh, there's a like a, like a, like a, like a, ooh. That's awesome. So we are at the deepest part of the mine that is not underwater. We're about 70 feet. Um, so we've actually gone with under the prison walls and are standing under the road. <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> under Newgate Road. Um, but uh, down here, 
you'll also notice railroad track. It's a railroad. A tunnel. <laughs> so this tunnel wasn't the, um, for the intent of finding copper, but this tunnel lines up perfectly with the shaft here where the spiral staircase goes up, which goes right up to the prison yard. This was for air circulation, so bringing fresh air up above to the miners below. So what's the thingy? Is that like? So we have a lot of, of course, like modern things. So I think it's electricity cord. Oh, oops! I said uh, railroad. <laughs> so we do have lines down here, uh, whether it be for electricity, for drainage. Um, I don't know specifically what this one is for, but it's for the more modern. Edition. My train of thought was that they were sending like minecarts down and like up. Oh, that's the kind of weird one. Oh yeah, no, no minecarts. Um, <laughs> fairly small enough that there's a shaft fairly close. So like this shaft here was the one that John Henson escaped up. Um, and it goes right up to the prison yard. So if you're facing the gate that faces the road, to the right is a little brick booth. That's where that goes up to. Bold man, bold. Yes. So, and it's an emergency exit only now. Um, but, uh, so once the prison shut... Really? <laughs> Sorry. Spiral staircase right here. See that nice piece of copper there? Are you good, Ma? Yeah, I'm taking a picture. <laughs> look at the rocks. But if you look here, there's some nice copper. Wow. It's nice and green. Yeah, that's good. The green is uh, because of melakite, mm -hmm. another mineral, gives it the green appearance. But we usually kind of think of copper turning green after it's been refined. Um, that's because of oxidization. Like the Statue of Liberty. Liberty. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Huh. Huh. oh, cool. There's like little tunnels. Yeah, there's still a lot of like off shooting tunnels. Oh, this is cool. My camera's going all different ways and it's like, what's happening? <laughs> That's gonna be fun to edit. <laughs> That's so cool. And we're back. Where the? There's more copper over here. Where the heck is it? I ate it. <laughs> I wouldn't. It's like swallowing a penny. There's more copper there. Hello there. There's a house across from the Liberty I worked at that has all copper um, gutters. Yeah. Pipes. Yep. And they, when they first started restoring it, they spent weeks shining it all up. And it's just going to turn green. beautiful for like two weeks. It's just going to turn green. <laughs> and then it turned green. Well, a Oops. lot of people say the, the oxidization is actually good because it's like a protective coat. Yep. Whoa. Uh, oh, I almost fell. Look how cool that looks. We're down this way. Another tunnel. Nice. Shocking. Right? <laughs> Shocking. That's a cool tunnel. There's like a log. A log? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of these posts obviously are much newer. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are refined telephone poles. Oh, okay. Um, but then there are some older ones. Uh, like if you look kind of between these two back there, that's <laughs> an older one. So some of these were brought in by the miners, so they could be like 100 years old being made of chestnut, but no, chestnut is not fairly available today because of the light that wiped them out some time ago. Um, the telephone poles are made of pine. This is cool. So. It's actually pretty comfortable. Like, oh. Alright, we're out the cave. It's hot again. My glass is severely fogged up. Watch your head, Ma. Whoa! I'm out of breath. Oh, this is sick. Look at the bricks. Most of my video is just of the ground. Because I was trying to get what she was saying. Yo, that is a woman. No one can tell me otherwise. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go over here. Tell me the guy with the beard, like the pirate hat type look. That is a woman. <laughs> 
Well, you would think of that. Look at the bell. There's a bell. What's over here? I think the, oh, 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 there's a fire. What's in here? I think this is a cell. Mom, there's a, there's a well intact bowl and fireplace. Does it go up? I'm gonna have to watch my head. Let me go with you guys see. Things. You should come here and put your flashlight in the. You should give me a hot minute. No. <laughs> Look how well intact this fireplace is. It's beautiful. I want to see if we can see what's up there. So you want my flashlight so you can record? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be cool. That's cool. It's like a big hole. It's a chimney. Shh. <laughs> Watch your head. Oh, sick. She's not that bad. Like even for the time period, maybe it was probably worse, but because like all the look at the chain and stuff. Probably be chained up here. Oh, hello Joyce. There's a room right there. Mom, I found a stage. Marco! I found a stage. A stage? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Mm -hmm. Come over to the right. Hello? Hey, girl. Look at my stage. Come here. <laughs> I had a panic book. You guys haven't seen me in a while. I was just like. What? I hope this is getting me. This is great. Look at the bucket. It's not a bucket. It's a big bowl. It's a bucket. <laughs> if they push this brick out just a little more, they could make a peek hole. Huh? Hello? Hello? Ready? This place is awesome. I wonder how they got into this part. How they got into what? This. That looks like it might have been where they cooked. Maybe. And that might have been bricked up later. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Because there's also this thing, which. Yeah. Maybe. Uh -huh. Hello. Maybe. Ooh. We should go in real quick because it doesn't look like a big room. Oh. Oh, this is where the mine is. This is where the mine is. Oh. So this was the uh, escape route? Oh, that's what that window was for. Oh, there's a ladder. Because they said that was the only way you could get out. In and out. Yeah, that. There's two. I'm sure that it's because it needs to be longer. Maybe they put it together. Oh, this is awesome. Hey guys, this is so cool. And there's the houses over there. So what the lady was saying was that they were like mistreated. Their beds would be gross. This is awesome. Look at how cool this is.
want to check out in here? Are you, for me? Are you coming in? Oh, yeah. Almost fell over. There's little houses, Ma. Yeah. Oh, this must be like a live, like a little mini version of it. Get you guys like a point of view. It's like a drone. Oh my goodness, it's a motorcycle. This is so cool. Oh my god, it's Pokemon. Pokemon! It's a Pikachu Shrine box. They made a Pikachu shrine box. This is a oh. That's cool. That's sick. It's like a jukebox. Isn't it? Ju it is a jukebox. Oh, bat trivia. How many species? Uh, Bats are in Connecticut. I have no idea. One, one thousand three hundred. What well, white nose syndrome do? What does white nose syndrome do to me? I have no idea. That's disgusting. We're done with bat trivia. Oh look! It's outside. Wow. Man, this place must have been so pretty. And now it's all torn down. Into the thick of it. Ooh. School for crime. I think this was a school. Healthy but hungry. So I think that building was the school, and this might be, what was this? Okay, you need to go behind that brick wall. Or this is cool. What brick wall? Okay. Yeah. Look, it's a guard tower. It's cool over here, Mom. You can see a guard tower. Oh, this is gonna be fun to edit later. <laughs> it's probably where they brought people in. That. Talking to my camera. So we get to build a wall. Never built this wall is professional. So well, this is pretty much it. It's nice. So I'ma leave it off here. You know, you got the whole mine, you got the whole prison pretty much. There's not much to it, honestly. Cause they're underground. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's mostly the floor. But it's not much I can do since I couldn't record anyone. I didn't want to either because I didn't want to invade the privacy. But this place is nice. Um, if you're in the Connecticut area, it'd be a nice place to check out. But I'm going to leave it here. Goodbye. Mm. Guys, I got rocks. Cool. <laughs>